Francis Coppola and I, when we started the movie, uh, him being Italian himself, determined to try to cast all the characters in the, in the story who were Italian with real Italian actors or Italian American actors. Uh, as Francis felt that there would be some authenticity about Italian American life and behavior would come through in the, naturally from these actors who were Italian American without having to be told everything to do because it was just in there growing up how they how they lived the Italian American life. So we saw every Italian American actor in Hollywood and New York. And uh, a good example is the is the sequence that he's in, the, the wedding party. Almost everybody in that sequence is Italian American. Uh, except Jimmy Kahn, who wasn't Italian. But and all those actors and the part uh, extras and people playing small parts, and Francis couldn't possibly direct every single one of those people to do this. Now you do this. Now you do this. Now you do this. These actors had been to these kinds of wedding parties their whole life. It was just nat natural to them, the behavior and how to how to. How, what those parties were like it was just natural to them, and it came through on the screen. Well, Hearts of Darkness, uh, Filmmaker's Apocalypse, was a uh, documentary about the making of Apocalypse Now. During the shooting, uh, Francis Coppola's wife uh, was assigned to to uh, just do a kind of a making of movie. Mm -hmm. So she had her own little camera crew and uh, she was just on, um, she shot whatever interested her. She, was, she had no real supervision, she was just uh, on her own. And uh, the post-production on Apocalypse Now took a year and so we were totally focused on just getting the movie made. We had even forgot about the making of. And then uh, some years went by that we just kind of forgot about that footage. And then uh, a guy came to us uh, who uh, knew about it and said, let's, let's try to make a documentary out of that footage and uh, maybe some new, some new footage. So it was many years later that we made this, uh, took Eleanor Coppola's footage and uh, created this documentary, which uh, people say is the most uh, insightful, the most true depiction of what it's like to, to make a big movie. The Godfather was so popular, uh, the, it was obvious to do a sequel. In the book, Mario Puzo's book, there is some history of how the Godfather came from Sicily as a young boy and how he... So we just expanded on that. We figured that the audience uh, would be interested in where, where that man came from, what, what brought him to, uh, to this position of power as the Godfather. Excellent film. It was nominated for Best Picture that year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just become a kind of a cliche to say that, but uh, I think uh, if you look at that film now and without thinking about all the talk, uh, it, it, you will see it's it's worthy. It's worthy of the other two. It's uh, and it deals with some very important things about the. Uh, Vatican and the problem here. Rosary beads. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was some some corruption going on in those at that time that the film was very bold to deal with that. I think one of the things that hurt its reputation was the uh, Francis casting his daughter 
in that part, and uh, it become became kind of a a big thing in the press to make fun of that. And it become became the focus of the publicity or of the press, and uh, caused people to not look at the movie with pure eyes. The, 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 they just were focused on that. In, in, and I guess Sophia showed them, didn't she? The Oscar goes to Sophia Coppola for Lost in Translation. This is Sophia Coppola's first Academy Award. This win makes her family the second three-generation Oscar-winning family. The first was the Houstons, Walter, John, and Angelica.